Big epilepsy warning for this video, all the boost panels are animated, watch at your own risk. I made a mod that turns the road into boost panels, and then tried to complete 3 laps of every track on 200cc without falling off. How many tracks are possible? So I made sure to only test the tracks on 150cc so I can go into this video blind. These earlier tracks like Water Park with not a lot of spaces to fall off are going to be easy to complete without falling off. For obvious reasons, because I mean, who falls off on these tracks? Uh, even if you think these flashing lights aren't that bad, they do get worse as the video goes on and the tracks get more complex. Uh, it's also important to note, because we're constantly on boost panels, we can't break drift. Sweet Sweet Cannon is up next. I love how you can move around before the countdown actually starts. I think for that reason, if we fall off during the countdown, I don't think that should count because I'm not in, I mean, you're in a bit of control, but you can't drift, you know, so you're not really fully in control. All right, so if you hop around the corners like this, it can help us like slow down a little bit. And I think this is what we're gonna need on some of the more complex tracks with like more turns and stuff. No, I failed. <laughs> Dude, please, no! Okay, you don't want to take that shortcut. One noticeable difference between this game and Mario Kart Wii is that in this game, when you drift into the off-road after touching a boost panel, you don't maintain your drift. But in Mario Kart Wii, you do maintain your drift. Oh, no, 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 okay, it's fine. Let's go, Sweet Sweet Canyon is possible. Mario Circuit next, you can see some of the roads are <laughs> unloaded because we're not meant to be here yet. But it's fine, it's back to normal pretty quickly, and the boost time again, this one should be an easy one, so let's just knock it out. Or maybe this too. Oh my god, I actually failed. I shouldn't have underestimated Mario Circuit. Let me just hold the drift for a bit longer. There we go. Maybe I should have underestimated Mario Circuit. The reason why I haven't done all the tracks, by the way, is most of them were crashing for some reason when I put the boost panel textures in. This one's already an acid trip, and oh my god, we could have fallen off already. This one's gonna be a bit harder than I anticipated. It's already quite a tough one on 200. And don't be fooled here, even though you can't see the textures, it's because the, this wavy road is an object for some reason. So I couldn't edit the text for the course model and have it be- yeah, you get it. Let's take green path on lap three. Oh my god, that was close. Oh my god. Oh my god, no! I guess we're trying green path on lap one. Dry dry dead it should be pretty simple as long as we don't accidentally vroom into the off-road in the countdown. Not that matters because the countdown doesn't count. God, we're just gonna be vrooming by on this one. This one's already crazy. Like, if, if, you, if you've ever had like a golden mushroom on this track, like, you know. The shortcut potential it has. It's crazy. Oh god, the boost panel's under the water. This looks horrible. Like, when you're above the water, it looks ab abysmal. It's another simple one. Barely anywhere to fall off here. The only risk here is because we're going so fast, we might get, like, launched off a ramp and, like, Lactu might pick us up because we're trying to do an illegal shortcut or something. Wait, look at that shortcut. Onto Royal Raceway. This one could be tough. There's some tight turns here, but it's mostly at the start. And oh my god, we can kind of use the off road to our advantage as well, which is nice. Uh, oh and it's for Yoshi Valley. There's like one pretty tough turn on this one. I'll tell you what, next lap we'll take the thin wooden bridge of death. Uh, this is the only turn I'm worried about, and looking at it, it's not even that bad. Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> okay, but you could easily fail it. I do need to be cautious. Let's take the uh, shortcut ramp. There we go. Very nice. Okay, no! <laughs> the freaking burnout. Incredible. Okay, there we are. Took the wooden bridge. Why am I doing it again? Oh my god. This one's gonna be brutal. All right, first things first, we need to do the shortcut. There we go. Awesome. I'm too scared to trick. Oh my god. This is one of the twistier courses. But these Wii U DLC courses are gonna be some of the tougher ones to do. No, 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 no. Okay, there we are. He's safe. No, no, no. That's the hardest part, Dan. No, 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 okay. That was easily the hardest one yet. Excite Bike, this one's gonna be pretty free because as you can tell, a lot of the stuff is objects. You know how like Excite Bike Arena is like random when you play it? It's literally just the turns that are booster. This is where it gets tough. That doesn't count. Okay, now it begins. I'm terrified of this one. We're just gonna be hopping constantly and we're, all right. What if I just hold my drift? Oh my God, you can kind of just make the turns. Sometimes. Sometimes you can make them. And then other times you really can't. Okay, this first turn we can just... This first turn we can just hold. 
And then I think we could probably hold this one if we do it right. There we go. This path not boost because it's wavy. Okay, just hold this turn around. Okay, we don't need to do any hopping at all. We can just hold the turns. They're like wide enough that we can. Hold it, watch out for the ramps. No! Okay, for this section, if I hit the ramp, I only need about two hops. One, two. There we go. One, two. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my that was easily the hardest one yet. Didn't like that at all. This one could be hard as well, but at least that's walls. Now, this one's only really hard because it has some, like, difficult shortcuts, and we don't have to take them. I mean, it's lap one. We can take them, right? Yeah, let's go. What do we have to lose by taking these silly little shortcuts? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This course is free. I've got nothing to lose by trying this. I, I genuinely don't know if it's possible to get over that, though. I tried my best. All right, this one's another freebie for sure. How are we gonna fall out on Baby Park? Good Lord, this is crazy. How fast are we gonna finish this? I think this had the chance to put Rainbow Road to shame. Speaking of which, I just realized I forgot to do N64 Rainbow Road. We'll do it after. There's just this really brutal S bend that I'm not sure how it's gonna go. My guess is not well. Keep hopping. <laughs> oh my god, even with hopping, dude, I didn't know how we're gonna do that. Gotta remember, with that sending a stream road, the strat was not to hop too much. You could probably get away with just doing like three hops or two hops, and that would be enough to get the turn. Just getting into that position is really hard, dude. I don't know what to do. Help! <sighs> I'm going back. <laughs> okay, well, I need a better alarm. No! I'm not really good with inside drifters, but maybe it's worth a try. Hopping does not seem to do anything. Oh, yeah, all right. N64 Rainbow Road, here we go. This one should be pretty easy because a lot of it is wavy road, which is its own separate object. So we'll just be playing normal 200cc. And the path that aren't, I mean, the turns aren't very sharp anyway. 12 second lap on M64 Rainbow Road, for God's sake. I'm gonna take this time to warn you. Double lap up, see warning. The final three courses are from the booster course path, the one where it just uses flat colors for textures. Okay, it doesn't count when we get picked up in the countdown, but that's fine. It looks okay so far, but trust me, yeah, all right. So basically the way all the flat color textures work is uh, they just have like a little color palette of like eight colors all in a row and then they UV map like each color but that means what we have when we apply a boost panel to it is it's just applying like a small corner of the boost panel to the whole model here we are for tour Tokyo blur there's a lot of flashing lights everywhere be careful on the plus side the course is pretty simple so I doubt we're gonna be falling off I'm in complete disbelief for all the wrong reasons Final section to go, and the, like, nowhere to fall off. I guess if I accidentally go into the arrows, then I'll fall off, but I'm not gonna do that. Just gotta not mess up the glider, and we're good to go. Straight shot to the finish. Shroom Ridge, the final one. Stick with me here, I need the watch time. We'll keep it brief. If you are departing, though, please hit the like button, because this took ages. <laughs> oh, okay, I guess we're going this way. Please, dude, this turn is horrible. Alright, we're going back. I'm not confident. Wait, you can fall off of that? Yes, okay. Woo! Video's over. 